In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. So now we're going to move on to the Mad Hatter. I've mixed a brown with blue, red and yellow. And we'll use the brown to mix in to a wash for the shadows. I'm going to take this nail off. And I'm going to use the wash to roughly go around the features. So I'm planning the design, I'm planning where his mouth is here, the characteristics of his face, so you've got all the, the creases and the lines. With the white, I'm going to make a little bit of a wash. I'm going to do some highlighting. Oh, his big nose. And how that runs under his mouth onto his chin. Because this is a wash, it's really easy to move about. Top of his lip. And I've got some white just with a little bit of water now, so it's even more white. So we can highlight with the brightness of this white now as well. His eyes. His eyes are quite close together. I don't know if that's because he's a little bit mad. And that's why his eyes are close together, I don't know. A slight shadow around the eyes. So with a really small brush, this is the smallest brush I have. I want this to be quite fine. I'm going to go around the outside of the eyes. And we need black. I'm going to do his pupils. Added a little bit of water to the black so I can do a really fine line at the top of the eye. And I'll do his eyebrows. Just doing them quite rough there because I'm going to add a little bit of orange to those. With a little bit of red and black, I'm going to do the inside of his mouth. You can just see his tongue. So we we'll get a little bit of red with white. Just so you can see his tongue. And we're just washing over that a little bit. Just add some shade. Then we're going to do his two bucked front teeth. So I put the white in there for his teeth and then we're going to separate the two front teeth. Same colour as I've used for the inside of the mouth. There you are, so you've got the teeth there. Just going to add a small amount of shading with a black wash. I'm going to adjust that mouth and make it a little bit deeper. I just want to exaggerate his expression. Right, we're going to do his hair now. Dark orange, light orange, a little bit of pale yellow, and a bit of white, and a little bit of black. On the original Alice in Wonderland, he has white hair, but I'm giving him orange hair, just like the new Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. I'm roughly, roughly going to go over with a bit of brown. This is just going to add a bit of shading to the hair. This is also going to give you an idea of where the hair will be. So it gives you good composition, you can see how wide it is if you put enough on there. Then we'll work his way up in shades, so we'll do the orange next, the deep orange. we we'll use this colour and add some orange to the eyebrows, little dotty lines, just by tapping the brush onto the eyebrows. Then we're going to use the brighter orange. I'm going to do the same again. You can see how the texture's building now with the colours. This technique's also good for doing autumn leaves on trees. Again for his eyebrows, use the same colour. Then we're going to use the yellow, the bright yellow. Doing the same thing, building the tones. I'm going to add a little bit onto this now, doing the same thing. Now his hair's done, 
going to do him a green jacket. And his jacket runs down here. You can leave the space for the dicky bone. He's got a really big collar on his jacket. Really exaggerated. So that big it comes over onto his face. I'm going to use the paler green to highlight certain parts of his jacket. Now I'm going to do a white wash now. And I like this even more. His shirt underneath. So, a bit of lilac. Where's the dark purple? A mix of wash to do all your shading with. Just adding some button detail to the jacket. Then we're going to do the same with the shirt. using a whitewash to highlight the buttons a little bit. Don't forget we're going to have a big, big 3D dicky bow here so don't worry too much about here because it will be covered and also his hat will be done in 3D so you don't need to worry about that either. Should we pop that on the board just to check it all fits nice. They're coming along nicely. So that's that character finished, which is the Mad Hatter. If you want to continue to watch, we're going to do the next character, which is the Queen of Hearts.